Hi there. I've been cooking on my own for the past 10 years. I'm completely self-taught. Never went to culinary school and didn't learn from my mom. And only recently did I learn about velveting meat in Chinese style stir frying. That's velveting using velvet as a verb. And this trick is used in many Chinese takeout places. They blanch the meat in oil first before tossing it into the wok to stir fry. That's why the meat in your Chinese takeout is almost always tender and falling apart a lot more than in most stir fries done at home. And when I heard about this, I had to give it a try. And I found out it's easy and you can use boiling water as well as oil to blanch the meat. And the results are definitely worth it. And this is definitely something I'm going to be doing on a regular basis from now on. This is going to be a beef and broccoli stir-fry, but this method can be used on any kind of meat, including chicken and pork, or even fish. Here we place the beef in the freezer so it will be easier to slice. Then we prepare the marinade to tenderize the meat. This is nothing more than one egg white, along with some cornstarch, rice vinegar, and salt. We whisk it thoroughly until there are no lumps, and that's it. Then we take out the cold beef and cut it into thin slices so the marinade will cover more of the surface. Then we mix it together until the meat is completely coated with the marinade. We cover it with plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator for about half an hour to an hour. Now we place a heavy cast iron wok into the oven and heat the oven up as high as it'll go. And while the wok is heating up, we prepare a pot of rice to go with the beef and broccoli. And now we do the second step in velveting by adding a little oil to a pot full of water and bringing the water to a boil. Fortunately, this pan is big enough to do all the meat at once without having to do it in batches. Once the water is at a boil, this step is called pass-through because the marinated meat is passing through the boiling water and oil. We only need to blanch the beef for about 30 seconds, stirring it gently to break the clumps apart. Then we remove the meat to a colander and let it drain. There doesn't seem to be any extra liquid here, so we add in some soy sauce and some sugar and mix it all together until the beef is coated. And that's it. The meat can now be used for a stir fry or any other way you want to prepare it. And now it's time to stir fry. After heating up the stovetop burner, we take out the blazing hot cast iron wok. We add some peanut oil, and it's time to start frying. And this is where we get to have some fun. Stir fry the beef until it's done to the point where when you cut a piece in half, the inside looks medium rare or perhaps a little more. Then we remove the beef and start frying the broccoli. Depending on how hot your stovetop burner is, it can take about 5 to 10 minutes for the broccoli to be done to the point where it still has a little bit of bite to it, but it is definitely not raw. Maybe I add some flavor. A little ginger. White pepper. And now at last, the dip. And now it's just a matter of stir frying for a little longer to get everything good and hot. And with that, our beef and broccoli is ready to serve. 
Thanks to the velveting, the beef is soft and tender, and it won't be tough to chew. And the taste of this stir-fry is one that may very well compare to Chinese takeout, but at a fraction of the price. This stir-fry used top round sirloin, and that's a tough cut of meat. And yet, it was still tender enough that eating it wasn't an exercise in chewing. And that made this stir-fry as much fun to eat as it was to cook. And I'll definitely recommend this for anyone who enjoys a good stir-fry. If you've never heard of velveting, I hope this makes your stir-fries even better. Especially if you're making them in a cast iron wok on an electric stove like we did here. But regardless of what you're using to make a stir-fry, this is a method that's worth trying and you're going to like the results. Thank you for watching.